Hello, my people. Trust God, all is well and good. This is Fisoy God's uh, Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. We are so happy for as many that uh, has been subscribing to our channel and as many that are yet to subscribe. Please subscribe today. Thank you. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a, a trendy a balloon puff sleeve. So it's going to be detailed and uh, interesting. Watch to the end. Let's go. To make your balloon puff sleeve, for the two sleeves, you need almost uh, two years of uh, your, you can use uh, this one is a mirror material, we call it mirror or glass material. So you need like two years of it for the for both sleeves. Yeah, you need elastic. Then this is the top we'll be using as specimen for this uh, video. So now this is what I'll be using for a, a sleeve. And uh, to fold it, we are going to double it. You can see the length I'm having here is uh, like a 40. We have 40 here. So and the length I actually need is a 20. So we are going to fold it like this. So after folding it, you can just uh, secure it with your office pin. So the random we'll be working with is a 12. So I mean the upper part of your arm like this, the bigger part of your arm, the circumference of it. So the one we are, the person we are working with has is a 12. So that 12, you are going to divide that 12 by six, I mean by two. When you divide 12 by two, it gives us a six. So that six, you will now multiply it by three. So if you multiply six by three, it gives us a 18. So you are going to fold this your fabric. You are going to fold it 18 is what you have to get when you fold it. I mean, horizontally, you fold your fabric to 18. So we are having 18 here now. So, and the, the hand mold we are working with, let's measure our hand mold, the hand mold circumference. The hand mold circumference we are working with is a 17 and a half. So you just, you can just add your uh, seam allowance of half inch. So it does 18. So that 18 now, you multiply that 18 by two. So it gives us a 36. So, and you know, your fabric is uh, on foot. So that 36, you divide it again by two. So it gives us a 18. So it is 18 we are going to get here now as our armor circumference. So you place your tape just this way. So where you can get your 18. Yeah, somewhere around here. You get your 18. I think you can see it. So we have our 18 here now. So the next thing is just to cut it out. So as we have cut it out, ensure that you secure it back with uh, your pin. 
before you go and sew it. So the next thing to do now is to use your machine just to you just sew it down, just to join this piece together. So sew it down. So and um, thereafter you now measure six inches up. Six inches. Six inches. Then you roll it together. So as we have rolled it, so the next thing we are going to do now is to place our elastic, is to fix our elastic on this line by just this way you sew it to the very end before we now join it by the, join the side together. So let's go and do that now. Now we have uh, fixed the elastic on that uh, six inches line that we need. So and the side has been joined together. So the next thing to do now is to go and pleat it on our sleeve. So make sure you get the the center point of your sleeve here yeah, you can use your chalk to mark it or you can notch it with your scissors so the next thing to do is to now you now begin to put the center put it at the center with your top then you begin to to pleat you begin to pleat it. You pleat. Ensure that as you are pleating, make sure that this uh, joining part match with the joining part of your of your top, just this way. So then you begin to pleat again to get back to the to the center so to get back to this uh, center so i'll go and do it on the machine now now your beautiful balloon puff sleeve is ready you can see how puffy and lovely it looks thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below also give it a like share the video and subscribe to this channel thank you